Yeah, I think uh, everybody's ready to get going. Uh, you know, we didn't play a game in the fall, a game or a scrimmage in the fall, so, um, you know, I think we were anxious to get to the competition phase of, of the season, and, uh, you know, a program like ours, I think we, you know, prefer to suit it up for real, and uh, so we'll have our hands full with a very good Loyola team on Saturday, but, uh, but I think we'll be uh, ready and anxious to get to it. Do you sense there's been a shift in your strength from last year to this year? Maybe you're stronger in the back compared to what you were last year? Well, we, we got really really good seasons last year from Ryan Tucker and Tyler German in the midfield. Owen Van Arsdale gave us a really nice season and all, uh, you know, so we were so young defensively last year. And so with all those guys back, Barrett Manning, the back line, you just feel that experience and confidence on defense while we have some, you know, midi, new middies taking over. We're confident in Zed Williams and A.J. Fish and some guys like that, uh, but you still got to do it. And so, you know, you know, we haven't talked about it a lot, but the sense of it for me is that we may have to hold down forward a little bit on defense while a, while a younger, you know, uh, offensive group uh, gets their feet on the ground, uh, but, uh, but we should be able to handle it. Is it easier going in being younger up front as opposed to in the back? Um, uh, it was, well, it was terrifying a year ago when we uh, went into this first game. Uh, put a highly ranked Loyola team on the road and, you know, didn't have a defensive player on the field that had ever started a college lacrosse game before. And, uh, you know, so never having quite ex uh, been that new and inexperienced across the board, uh, you know. So, you know, yeah, I, you know, I guess we, you know, like, like, like coaches often talk about, uh, you know, you sort of... Uh, you know, the defensive piece of it is sort of the foundation of the house. And uh, if you get that in order and you're solid there, you'd like to think you're giving yourself a chance. I also believe that in this sport, as same as in basketball, I think you have to score to win. And uh, and so we, we need our we need our offensive guys to be able to step up and make some plays uh, in order for us to get this done. You bring back a lot of experience on that first midi line. Tell me about the second line. Uh, yeah, they're they're getting there. Uh, you know, a couple of young guys there. Corey Harris, who uh, redshirted last year, uh, um, you know, so he's really in his first year of competition. Uh, one of our hardest workers. Uh, you know, Matt Emery has the potential to be a to be a to be a really good player for us. You know, Jake Dean is seeing some minutes there. Uh, you know, I think you're likely to see uh, Ryan Conrad, uh, our you know kind of heralded freshman, first year kid. Uh, play on both that line and runs get some runs with the first guys you know and so I feel like we've got a good core of guys there uh, you know um, uh, so I like where we start uh, it's just a question of whether or not we're going to be ready to make these plays right you know coming right out right out of the box I think I read a stat that you guys have won one ACC game in the last three years dominator uh, heck, that could be you know uh, same deal this year as in the past you know we, I've seen us rank from four to seven uh, you know, all the ACC teams are in the top seven. Uh, you know, uh, I'm hardly going to apologize for you know being 10 and four and earning a home game in the playoffs the last two years. Uh, but our conference is tough, and uh, you know, and 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 you know, we you know have been here a long time, and you know, those are our most common opponents, and uh, we certainly like to get some of those uh, get some of those bragging rights back. So uh, you know, I certainly I'm not we're not going to get ahead of ourselves. Uh, you know, I'm a coach. Coaches always talk about, you know, today, you know, and tomorrow and Loyola. And that's the most important piece right now. We'll worry about those when we get there. But certainly we'd like to we'd like to make some noise in the conference when we get to, when, when it gets to be that time of the season. Can you touch on your takeaways from the scrimmages, what you learned on this early bunch of scrimmages? Yeah, I don't think we played great in either one of the scrimmages, frankly. Uh, you know, um, uh, and I what we learned is that we're going to have to work hard on offense in order to generate opportunities. And uh, we didn't put enough balls in the goal, frankly. And... Uh, you know, so that was useful that way to know that uh, it's an area that we've needed to focus attention on in this, you know, in this final week of preparation and all. Uh, so I think we've had a good couple days. Uh, at the same time, I thought we, we've had uh, good moments on defense, like you might have predicted. I think we faced off a little better than um, than we than we had a year ago. So I think we start off in a good place there. So you know, I think the scrimmages have given us what we needed right now, and uh, and uh, and I think we're ready to play. Barrett, uh, Matt didn't end the season so well with that one game, but uh, he was such a bright spot yep. last year. Does that kind of a comforting thing for you this year? Knowing uh, absolutely, you know, uh, you know, a year ago, uh, you know, when we were we were sort of here at this time of the year, I would have told you that you know we absolutely positively had to have great goalie play in order to have a chance, you know, and uh, and he he gave us that for the most part, you know, and. Uh, 
And so, uh, you know, a boy that uh, I think has grown up off the field also, done a good job in school. I mean, he's, he's uh, improved in areas that I didn't see coming, like leadership in the clearing game and some things like that. I think he's become a much more complete player. And uh, so, uh, you know, having that good goalie back there certainly does give you a great deal of confidence. And I think if there was a single guy you wanted to pick out that, you know, you know who's going to, who can you kind of hang your hat on, it would be, uh, it would be the guy in the goal. Did you sense a boost when you get some of your guys, your key guys back from injury, like Tanner? Uh, yeah, we, you know, it was, uh, you know, Scales in particular in the fall, it was just a little bit more confidence across the board, uh, you know, having him back there. I still think he's sort of working his way back to, you know, kind of game speed in some ways, but, uh, but uh, you know, he's got a little, he's got some bounce in his step, and I think he's been glad, glad to be back out here, and, uh, and I think the whole team has benefited from having him. You know, back on the field. Impressions of Loyola, what you've seen? Uh, you know, in a lot of ways, the same team from a year ago. Uh, very good. Uh, first midfield, powerful, dangerous, uh, skilled on the attack. Uh, you know, so I would say a very good offensive lacrosse team. Uh, they had to replace a couple of guys at the defensive end of the field, uh, but they've always been quite capable there. They like to get up and down the field. So, you know, for folks that uh, you know uh, that like uh, you know lacrosse that's up and down and fast, I think you're going to see that on Saturday because they're going to push the pace. All fall, you never really think this day is going to get here again, first game of the year. But uh, it's been great so far, and we've really been uh, sharp and good attention to detail out here. So ready to finally get after another team. And what have you kind of seen from the team in the, the first few weeks of practice? Um, certainly a lot of effort, and that's really all we can control, and that's like what we're about. Um, Execution has been here and there, but that's expected at the beginning of the year, and um, we're looking for it all to come together on Saturday. Uh, what's it like for you being back out there this year? Um, same thing, just really enjoying every moment of it, really loving the process, and uh, you know, I'm excited to get back out there again. It's been over a year since I've gotten to play, so just excitement, really. How tough was last year for you? Um, it was hard, but again, it's all everything's all relative. Um, there are a lot of people who would love to just be around the program and not have a chance to play. And I've had a chance to play, so I can't really complain too much. And I just try to always keep that in mind. How does the defense seem like it's shaping up? I guess that's one of the big keys yeah. to this season is how well you guys can gel. Um, the defense looks good. We uh, obviously with Hooper and Greca, they were kind of thrown in the fire last year. And, um, you know, they've improved a ton. And, thought they played well last year and they're going to play well this year and then uh, I just try to bring you know a little uh, experience and leadership out there and so far I think we're gelling and we definitely have more work to do but uh, we're definitely getting to where we want to be. And uh, captain this year for you is that right? The, yeah. yeah. How's that feel? It's great it's a uh, it's a new responsibility um, a new experience um, but I'm it, the biggest thing is just that my teammates were uh, voted me captain and like that's that's a really big honor for to know that they trust me and um, so I'm just trying to still be just one of the teammates and I'm you know it's an honor to be named a captain. What's the, what's the dynamic between you and Matt kind of delegating and uh, leading that unit? Um, I mean he's definitely our anchor. Matt's our anchor. Um, you know he performed really well last year um, but really you know we're trying to just foster an environment where anyone can step up and say anything. Um, it's not just Matt or I, it's Scott, Logan, anyone can step in and really be the guy so um, you know there really is no dynamic between us it's just everyone kind of just stepping up and doing their job. How's communication like this early in the season? Um, it's actually been a lot better than you usually expect at this time usually communication is kind of the last thing that comes um, but again we've we've all played together a little bit and Matt's a phenomenal leader out there and so he really makes it a lot easier to communicate. It's been a while since you got the programs made kind of a, a big run in postseason NCAAs I mean how much is that something that kind of drives you guys to get back to the top of the heap, so to speak? Um, to be honest with you, we really don't have that in our mindset at all. I mean, every year there, you know, there's 10 new kids who really have no idea what it's like to, you know, play here yet. So um, really, like I said earlier, we really just are trying to focus on the process, um, doing the right thing every day, and then hopefully the big things will take care of themselves.